Hey guys, John here, and I am here with a brand new LEGO City set. Um, it's not really brand new, it's been out for about a month now, maybe two. Um, I am here with the LEGO City 60019 Stunt Plane, and this is uh, it's supposed to be the summer set, and the summer set line, but it came out in August, and usually the summer set line comes out in June, which kind of surprised me. But, you know, whatever. Uh... But, better late than never. Um, you get two minifigs, you get 140 parts, you get some, I, you get a new piece, which as you can see right there, is that hat piece, which I'll get to the minifigure now. Um, and actually I got an extra headphone piece, which was very nice of them. Um, but as you can see, if you were planning to put it on one of your Lego hats, you can't because there's a little peg there. And unless you figured out a way to like take it off uh via scissors then uh that might work and then you could get a real tiny piece of clay and just clay it down i guess uh in case it doesn't f work out so he has the new red baseball cap thing which has a lot of details on the top which I'll not get, which I'm not going to get to the headphones are really nice um and yeah perfect for like a DJ or something but they're also perfect for like the sound and stuff, like blocking the sound. And I um re I'm refilming this, so I have to hurry because I ran out of video the last time. So he has that uh that bearded I like my job face that Garrett the man hates. Um, I actually have not seen this face in a while, and uh, believe it or not, this is actually my first Lego set that I've gotten in uh, the past two months. Because I didn't haven't really gotten any sets after my birthday, and yeah, he has overalls. And I thought that when I first opened the set up and started building it, I thought that was a new color pant. It's really not, and there's no back printing. Now this guy is slightly more interesting. He is the pilot, and as you can tell, as you can tell, he is ready to get up there and show his amazing stunts to the citizens of Lego City. You can just tell he's that kind of guy. Because he has the silver aviator's glasses. He has the red helmet and visor. He has a new uh, torso, pi pilot torso. It says airborne spoilers there. Couldn't read it in the first refilm. And then as you can see, there's a propeller logo thing. And then he's in a jumpsuit, by the way. And then back here it says airborne spoilers. And yeah. So, I guess that's it for the minifigures. I'll now get on to the little truck thing, which is on the small car chassis. Uh, pretty basic. Actually, not really that basic. It's pretty cool. It's perfect for, like, a little go-kart thing if you want to give, like, your minifigure or something. Um, just basic front with the hazard sticker thing. And then in here, it's a little bit more interesting because, as you can see, there's only two studs there. And if you try to sit your minifigure down, it will not work. What they did was, they made it, so the steering wheel is a lot higher. They made it so you have to make the minifigure stand up. And I thought that was pretty, a little bit weird, but I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of realistic, too, because I go plane spotting a lot, and I always see that at the airport. Um... So yeah, and then there's the little things he holds up to like guide the plane to the runway or something or to the gate or whatever. Um, I don't have too many. Actually, this is a new design because the original ones, they stuck straight up and not out like that. And as you can see on the box, he's not doing a very good job. He's just trying to, he's like, hey man, you're about to crash into me. Do you even realize that? Uh, that's pretty much what he's saying. Uh, the pilot probably didn't realize though that he's about to crash and burn. Here you have, there you have a little light. Sorry, it's not focusing my iPhone. A fire extinguisher. We haven't seen a red one in a while. This thing actually comes off, which, uh, there you go. It's on just one stud there, which you can fit pretty much any box thing there. You get an axe, I guess, to break the window, and then if, like, he crashes and stuff, and the window, the windshield won't come off. Yeah, and then a wrench, and then a radio. So, yeah, I have to rush the video now. Um, here we have the plane. Pretty awesome. Um, 
here you have the the uh not turbine the uh propeller it spins very well port and starboard lights and the winglets and stuff the wings are black actually and then a little white lining there um a60019 the set number and probably the and the a is probably for the uh designer name and then like an engine there some checkered things um ba basic seat a steering wheel which kind of shocked me i'm surprised they didn't get like the stick things that move back and forth uh, a couple of stripes, the tail, and then the checkered rudder and stuff. And then down here we have some detailed landing gear. And I'm kind of sh and when I first built this, I noticed that uh, it didn't. I didn't find a tire, and I was like, "What the heck? Did I lose it?" No, it. That's the way it's designed. So it's not really a rubber tire. It's just that. And then there you have those tires, and then the thing I guess you could use for. Uh, Oh, what is it? The smoke at the back, I guess. So, that pretty much sums it up for this set. I'm sorry I had to rush it. It's um, just I have been really low on memory lately. So, yeah. So, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys later. More sets, reviews coming soon, and actually a big animation coming soon, too. So, look out for that. And, yeah, so... Like I said, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.